If you guys aren't aware of this by now, you should probably know that Skull Dread is a problem. All right, so in the past year in which this card has been a bit... Uh, introduced, we've seen this card abuse so many, we'll say, faucets fots, and uh, decks that are in the metagame. Uh, the thing about Skulldred is that a plus one in card advantage may not seem that bad, but the fact that this card has really... The way this card has really changed draw power in the game is just really, really insane. So there are a lot of decks that really abuse Skulldread to get to their limited cards right now that otherwise really probably wouldn't be playable if you couldn't draw through half, half your deck by summoning three of these bad boys. And I know we're at a point in Yu-Gi-Oh! in which there are just a million summons per turn, or there can be, and that's an exaggeration of course, but that's where we're at, and that's a hard problem that that's just a very hard problem to address um and w the thing is with this mechanic that's hard to fix uh this is a card that takes full advantage of that kind of broken mechanic in the metagame and so this yes this card is very very problematic because it just sets up so many boards turn one that let the opponent just get there basically get a free lockdown and unless you get unless you get a first turn evenly matched um on your first turn it's really hard to deal with boards that Sar saryuja builds because of what is able how it's able to stack the opponent's hand so i've seen a lot of different builds right here um so i want to make an example um the card that one of the cards that just got banned was Soul Charge. Uh, Soul Charge definitely was a problem; it didn't need to go. But would Soul Charge have made as much of an impact if Saryuja wasn't able to get through half the deck and get to Soul Charge in so many games? That is where part of the problem lies. So, uh, say you have Saryuja and then you draw through half your deck first turn. Um, that that makes the the fact that you're limiting cards that makes it really that negates the fact that they're even limited the purpose of them being limited is that you're not supposed to be able to draw them or your your odds of drawing them are supposed to be really rare if you're going f through so many cards within your deck it really reduces the power it, the power that limiting brings upon those cards, if that makes sense. Um, so that's why Saryuja is just terror. I would say it's terrorizing the metagame right now. And I know um, maybe cards like uh, decks like Thunder Dragons, decks like Sky Striker, yeah, they're not really running it, but it still is enabling to a lot of degenerate play styles. Um, so uh, obviously, I've been back in Yu-Gi-Oh for about a year. I'm not even go through all of the crazy combos that you can can do it because I can't even remember the names of all the cards that are doing crazy combos with this thing. It take it takes, um, but I don't think you need to remember all card names to understand what mechanics are broken about the game. And Skull Dread is just one of those cards that uh, makes. 15 minute turns that just wastes so much time um not only it's a combination of the time factor and the draw power that just makes this card absolutely ridiculous so i think we need we as a community need to call for this thing to at least be limited uh because a lot of people take full advantage of summoning more than one per turn uh yeah so this thing, I think it's practically ban-worthy, but yeah, if we limit it to one, that would see a lot of dege degenerate decks uh, make... Yeah, that would put a lot of degenerate decks on the back burner, I think. Um, so let me know what you guys think there. Um, also, post in the description, post decks that take full advantage of kind of this broken mechanic. Um, I think that would be helpful for people in general, but we can see all the ways in which it's taken advantage of. Uh, obviously, well, now you can make uh, really great, brilliant fusion, brilliant fusions at one, but you can still make great decks with it by using uh, the plant summoning mechanic and then just getting Saryuja uh, on the field. And yeah, basically you can make ridiculous boards out of that alone. Uh, but anyway, I'll stop the video there. Hopefully you guys uh, discuss this, and hopefully something gets done about it. Peace.